Hey guys, welcome to another episode. You know, it dawned on me that I grow a whole bunch of strawberries, but that I've never even made a care guide and telling you what how my success, you know, comes to be. So today I want to change that. I'm going to be talking about five different factors that make a very that play a very big role in why uh, how to make your strawberries thrive and just make them do the best that they can possibly do it. So let's talk about the first one is going to be soil so let's get to it all right so here we are in front of my soil and this is um, my backup soil for my house plants however this is essentially what all that soil outside will turn into so it's just mostly worm castings you can see little pieces of eggshells and things that are still in here I added these relatively recently is why you can see little pieces of wood bark things like that that haven't completely broken down yet but for the most part this is just the organic matter that has been broken down into worm castings because there's a bunch of worms in here especially if I dig down a little bit you'll see them see all the the worms crawling around in there which are constantly breaking down breaking it all down into worm castings constantly re-fertilizing essentially the soil so it's that and biochar which you know just little pieces of charcoal they absorb the nutrients and um, release it slowly back to the plants so that's another pretty important part in here I really love using biochar and everything and all the soil that I use. I feel like it really adds a lot to the soil. But that's really all the soil is and that allows the um, that allows the soil to hold on to a whole lot of water because the biochar holds on to a lot of water and then also the organic matter itself holds on to a lot of water. And strawberries that ca so it's kind of like a two thing in one at uh, the first and the second point in one the soil and water because strawberries love a lot of water they um, they definitely don't like to dry out at all uh, so growing them in a cooler more rainy climate is easier however it can't be done anywhere really I um, you just gotta water them a lot if you live in a drier climate so that's just something that you have to be aware of now it's actually been raining outside for the last couple of days so you'll see that everything outside is when we go back outside that everything is very wet everything is very well watered and uh, that's really the ideal condition conditions for the strawberries so yeah soil high organic matter uh, obviously still well draining like clay would still be a problem but well draining high organic matter rich rich soil would be ideal Lots of fertility, lots of life. That's really what they prefer. In here they have everything that they need and want. And that's what all my strawberries are planted in. Oh, the peacefulness of the rain. If you live in a cool, wet environment, it'll make growing strawberries a lot easier. It doesn't mean you can't grow them in hot, dry climates. It just means you're going to be watering them a lot and you're going to have to take them out of the hot afternoon sun because it'll be way too much, especially in, in conjunction with the temperatures. The intense heat plus the intense sun will absolutely kill your strawberries every single time. Even here when it's clear and it, it, even when here when it's clear, I have to take them out of the afternoon sun because even that is... They don't really like it. I can't do much about it. I try to just shade them out by growing cover crops and things. That's something I'm experimenting with if you watch one of my other videos. But growing them in an environment like this where it rains relatively frequently does make growing strawberries a lot easier. I have grown them in a high desert environment, so I know what it's like to grow them in a hot, dry climate. Um, you're just going to have to take them out of the afternoon sun keep them out of the heat in conjunction with the light you can't do much about the heat but keep them out of the intense sun water them a lot 
and uh, you should do okay in a hot dry climate but this is really their preference all right so number three is fertilizer and i wouldn't worry too much about it and that sounds maybe a little crazy but so it ties a little bit into the, the soil as well having a rich a rich soil should have all the um the nutrients in it especially if you have worms going around and you have things breaking down within the soil more than likely you'll have plenty of nutrients for your strawberries however a lot of times especially if you're growing in containers you'll have to add some more fertilizer to it and uh, i just want to keep that as simple as possible so twice a year what i really want to start doing instead of doing the continuous application of fertilizer i really just want to go to a way where i just add like a, essentially a slow release slow breakdown type of fertilizer to the soil twice a year in spring and autumn and have that be my fertilizing regimen so one of those components and i don't have the third component here right now but i'll have to buy that but the one the one component is phosphorus which i just apply through bone meal then you have potassium which i just use from my uh, my own wood ashes it's a high amount of potassium here so here is all your phosphorus that's your two components for nitrogen uh, i will uh, every other watering or so i'll add a little bit of fish fertilizer which is a, a 511 there we go 511 but i want to basically have this be a backup the fish fertilizer and instead head more towards a blood meal so you have blood meal, blood and bone, and a little bit of uh, wood ashes if I feel like I need the potassium. But I'll apply this twice a year, just a little bit to the top of the soil, and then that should be all the fertilizing that, he, that my strawberry should need. And along, in turn, everything else that is planted in there, which will more than likely be like a tree or a shrub or something like that, because I use them as ground cover. But in the meantime, fish fertilizer is a great way to uh, to give it its nitrogen. It's uh, very immediate. It has all the nutrients in it that it needs, especially in the spring, it's great to use fish fertilizer. Um, but for currently right now, that's what I'm using. But like I said, I will be switching to uh, blood meal and just having this as a backup. So that's that in combination with your rich, high organic matter soil. That should really give you all the nutrients for the strawberries that they would ever need along with some of the other points that we'll get to next. All right, so point number four then, it's mulch. You really shouldn't underestimate the value of mulch because not only does it help keep water in, it also breaks down over time, fertilizing the ground, adding organic matter to the ground, but it also stimulates the microbiology within the soil which in turn will help feed your strawberries it is so important to have your ground covered it could be with leaves it could be with compo like a uh, decomposed wood it could be with bark it could be with wood chips it really doesn't matter it's just so important it makes it all so much easier some of these this one especially is already ready to go makes it so much easier mulch your plants no matter what it is well unless obviously it doesn't like organic matter or nutrients or something like that some exceptions but for the most part mulch everything it makes gardening so much easier look at these beautiful strawberries these are definitely ready to go gorgeous those are going to be delicious so the last point is light you really this is this one in particular is self-facing but it's protected by a lot of other things that help shade it out just enough or protect it just enough from the harsh afternoon sun to where it does great and case in point it's protected by several trees that helps shade it out a little bit. That's very important. They like a lot of light. They like bright light, but they don't want to be blasted by the afternoon sun because it's just too much. 
to light. Give him full morning sun, maybe up until 11, possibly even 12 in some areas. It can be too hot at that point, but direct morning sun in most cases is perfect. At that point, you can also give him a little bit of afternoon sun. Well, afternoon meaning like end, end of day afternoon, like end of day sun, setting sun. That would be fine as well. But just not the hot afternoon sun because that's too much. Morning and very late day sun is perfect. Keep them out of the afternoon sun and you should be doing great as far as light goes. All right, guys. So that was today's video. I want to make one more point about water, though. And that is you can actually grow strawberries just in a cup. I mean, this doesn't have any drainage in it. So when it gets hot and dry, I just fill this cup up with water and they do just fine. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that you grow them like that. But they will do okay if you're trying to propagate them or you're trying to move them or something like that. They will grow just fine in water. Like this has uh, some bark in it that's been all been uh, decomposed at this point. You can see that the roots are doing fine. You can even grow them hydroponically. You know, that's, uh, they do very well with hydroponics. And um, yeah, you see that the strawberries themselves, they aren't very big. They're not getting enough nutrients. Okay, and I wasn't really trying to grow them to really get production out of them like this. This is my uh, all-star variety. So I'm just trying to hold on to some of them. I still have them, even though I pulled them out of all my containers. In fact, this was one plant. And you can see that it kind of suckered off and there's multiple ones in here now. Also, there's even roots that are growing down from it. So yeah, they do, they do very well that way. You're just trying to have a specimen or Trying to transplant it, like I said, that works pretty well. So, I appreciate all you guys watching this video. I found, hope that you found it informative and enjoyable, and I uh, hope to see you in the next one. Tot de volgende keer.